Hi, I'm Greg and I'm an intern here at Grace Manu. Hi, and I'm Izzy, a volunteer here. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you have decided to come to the Manu Learning Center, helping Chris do research. Take it from us, your time here can be both wonderful and life-changing. But in order to fully enjoy this challenging experience, you have to come prepared. In this video, we'll show you all of the things you need to bring. You're going to be regularly going on long hikes in the forest to get to different places. So let's talk about how to prepare for that. All the clothes you bring should cover your body to protect you from the sun and mosquitoes. The fabric should be thin and breathable to stay cool and dry fast once you wash them. You're going to need thin cotton socks. The darker in color, the better. We shouldn't have to remind you to bring underwear, but just in case, cotton is better than nylon. And the more supportive, the better. They know what underwear looks like. You are going to be crossing rivers and walking on mud, so you're going to use rubber wellies. Those will be provided by us here. However, if you are size 46 EU or 12 American or larger, you will have to bring your own. Trousers, the ones with zippers and many pockets are kind of a classic here. Don't forget a belt. Long sleeve shirts and t-shirts are essential. Short sleeves or tank tops to wear beneath. Bring a lightweight raincoat or poncho. Avoid bright colors so you don't scare the animals away. Bring a 35 liter day backpack to carry your personal items, survey equipment, and your lunch. Two powerful head torches for walks at night are a must. Don't forget extra batteries. And if all of this is rechargeable, even better. You will need two liters of water every time you go into the field. So make sure you bring bottles or a camel bag or both. Binoculars to spot all the beautiful animals that are further away. A compass to find your way and a whistle to alert others if you fall a little behind. Guys? Guys! A hat for protection, one of those bandana buff thingies, sunscreen and mosquito repellent. And even one of those fashionable nets can also help with the annoying bugs. A notebook and several pens or pencils are also necessary to take notes. So, let's talk about the things you're going to need around camp. Bring comfortable cotton clothes that cover your body. The same rules apply. You can get bitten by mosquitoes here too. It can get chilly, so don't forget warm and cozy clothes. We need to take our shoes off outside of the buildings to avoid tracking in mud, so make sure you bring sandals that you can put on and take off very easily. Crocs are highly recommended. Bring a towel or two for the showers. We will provide you with eco-friendly body wash and shampoo, but if you'd like to bring your own, be sure to make it biodegradable. Of course, bring a toothbrush, toothpaste, and laundry detergent, as you will be responsible for doing your own wash. Bring a swimsuit for days in the river. Oh! <laughs> if you are a conservation intern, it is recommended to bring a lightweight laptop. Of course, bring your cell phones, cameras, power banks, and other electronics. Dry bags and packs of silica to save your electronics from the humidity is a must. Be sure to bring adapters for the outlets we use here in Peru. A battery powered alarm clock and wristwatch are extremely helpful, but don't plan on relying too much on your mobile phones because they won't always be charged. Wake up! Other stuff that can come in handy are reusable bags of any kind, a USB stick, an umbrella, books, playing cards or other toys or puzzles. We recommend you to buy snacks here in Peru. And I know this is not a physical object, but try to brush up on some basic Spanish. Buenos dias. Como esta? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? Bien. Hay en aguar hambriento detrás tuyo. Muchas gracias. And of course, don't forget your documents, insurance, vaccination cards, money, basic first aid kit, and over the counter pharmaceuticals. Now try and fit all of that in a backpack. Suitcases with wheels don't roll well over mud and stones, so we don't recommend those. Come on. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and we almost forgot the most important thing. Bring your sense of adventure, your love of nature, and a good attitude. Come on, Greg, show them. Better attitude. Even better? Even better. Okay, that's enough. If you want the written list, you can find it in the description of the video. We even specify the things that you can pick up here in Peru so you don't have to bring them from home. Make sure you pay attention to that. And that's all. So thank you for watching. See you in the forest. Hasta luego. Ciao.